It was the first permanent settlement in all of northern Michigan, a strip of land outside of Traverse City settled by the Presbyterian minister Peter Doherty, who came to establish a mission. In 1839, he started over for a present-day Elk Rapids case. But Chief Agosa, who had a fairly large Native American tribe here, convinced Doherty to move it over to this area. Taking his claim, Doherty built this home in 1842, which is still standing today. And we really think it was the first frame home south of Mackinac Island and north of Grand Rapids, Muskegon area. Doherty created his mission, built a school, and started missionary work. Then he moved to Omina. When Doherty left and created his New Grove Mission Church, people called that the Old Mission, and this became the New Mission, and hence the name stuck forever. Several years later, Salon Rushmore bought the Peter Doherty house, and for the next 100 years, until 1960, the house was in the Rushmore family. They turned it into a resort hotel, and then took it over as a family cottage. Salon Rushmore created the farming community, and Bohemians settled the area, planting apples, cherries, and plums. Uh, the farming industry took off. Because of that, tourism picked up, and people were coming to spend the summer from Chicago in this beautiful weather we have. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, farmers started planting grapes, and the vineyards took shape. It was not until the late 80s, early 90s that the whole idea of having wine tasting rooms and developing uh, wineries really took off. And of course, it's now a major function up here.